My name is Orlin Velev. Uh, I'm a Frank and Doris um, Distinguished Professor in uh, Chemical Engineering at North Carolina State University. Um, I have been the recipient of the 2017 um, Acrevos Professional Progress Award, and now I'm today here uh, with Martin Bazant, uh, who has uh, been awarded the, 20, uh, the 2018 Award um, for Professional Progress in Chemical Engineering. Uh, Martin Bazant is the E.G. Roos Professor in Chemical Engineering um, in, uh, at MIT. He's also a professor in uh, mathematics, and um, uh, he uh, holds a number of uh, special awards, uh, uh, including instructional awards. Uh, Martin Award is uh, here to tell us about uh, his career and, uh, and about his research. So Martin, please tell us uh, about your background. Sure. Well, uh, I do have a background in uh, physics and mathematics. Actually, I've never uh, taken a class in engineering in my life. Uh, so I feel fortunate to have been able to make the transition to chemical engineering uh, as a faculty member and as a professional uh, teacher and researcher a little over 10 years ago. And it's really a great honor for me to uh, get this award and uh, be welcomed into this community and to uh, feel the, the impact and collaboration that has resulted from that. Congratulations. Um, your research, the research that you describe, relates to electrochemical systems. Um, could you present a little bit about the general importance of electrochemical system and electrochemical systems, and why did you choose to do this research? So, electrochemical systems, uh, to me, first of all, uh, pose very fascinating scientific challenges. So, with my background in science and mathematics, I do feel that electrochemical systems provide a great challenge in uh, doing developing mathematical models and understanding the physics of these systems which is somehow more complicated than many systems that we study uh, in engineering, but maybe not quite as complicated as biology. So it's the class of problems where it's a sweet spot where you can just manage to develop quantitative models and understand what's going on, but yet it's still very challenging. I'm also drawn to this field for its uh, societal importance. So a big reason that I moved to engineering in the first place, uh, chemical engineering, uh, was to really work on more impactful problems that really affect uh, society today. And electrochemical systems, I think, are at the heart of uh, solutions to many of the problems we face. So, of course, uh, we're all familiar with the energy challenges facing uh, the world today, uh, and also sustainability uh, and, and climate. And uh, an important aspect of that is electrochemical systems. So whether it's flow batteries or uh, electrochemical systems used for storing energy at the grid scale, or portable electronics, maybe lithium-ion batteries, and then other types of advanced batteries, uh, certainly that's an important area. Another area I'm interested in uh, is water treatment. And again, electrochemical methods have a major role to play by targeting specific ions. For example, removing lead from the water in places like Flint, Michigan, where they have corroded pipes, uh, is another challenge which is well suited for electrochemical methods. Yes, and um, I mean, we really found this very interesting. There are lots of questions about uh, uh, instabilities and their use in uh, innovative methods for water purification. So maybe you can say a few more words about that. I think people would be interested to hear this. Sure. So uh, the stability of electrochemical interfaces is really a critical aspect of how they, how they function. So for any of the devices I just described, whether it's batteries or water treatment systems, there are interfaces where electrochemical processes are occurring, which must be sort of maintained in most cases in a, in a, in a stable configuration so that the process can operate say, uh, continuously and smoothly. So for example, in the case of batteries, uh, there are some batteries where we'd like to use lithium metal as the anode. In fact, that's sort of the ultimate anode, very high energy density, but one of the problems is that it goes unstable and can form dendritic or other types of patterns. And so one aspect of my talk today was describing ways to control metal growth so that it could be more stable, or at least understanding the reasons for instability. Also in lithium ion batteries, uh, you would like lithium to be inserted into the anode, which is a material like graphite. And in that case, lithium metal is a side reaction, so you don't want lithium metal. And so we're also interested in controlling that interface so the desired reaction happens and the undesired reaction does not happen. Uh, turning to water treatment, um, there are, is a new method I've been working on called shock electrodialysis, where we generate uh, what I call deionization shock waves in porous media, where the salt concentration suddenly changes. And we're able to use that to desalinate, uh, to continuously desalinate and do uh, ionic separations in water. In order for that process to work, this deionization shock wave, this interface in the material, must be stable. So it cannot be going you know, unstable and forming uh, patterns uh, and allowing, say, salty fluid to get into the unsalted stream and vice versa. So stability is very important to understand and control in many electrochemical systems. Um, your presentation included lots of formulas. And um, your background is very interesting because you started as a physicist 
and then became mathematicians and then chemical engineer. So um, what, can you ca what can you tell other chemical engineers about this type of background and how did it help you in the profession? Well, um, I think uh, my answer to that question is really tied to the award itself. So I was very pleased uh, to be able to receive this award, uh, not only from the uh, discipline of chem uh, the field of chemical engineering and from AICHE, but also to have the name of Andreas Akravos attached to it in recent years. Uh, uh, Professor Akravos is one of my uh, scientific heroes. Uh, he himself used extensively, uh, pioneered in fact, the use of mathematics and uh, quantitative analysis of chemical engineering systems. Uh, his advisor was Neil Amundsen, who's considered one of the fathers of modern chemical engineering, and Neil Amundsen had a PhD in mathematics. So again, this sort of rigorous foundation for the field in quantitative modeling, uh, I think is essential to chemical engineering, and in fact makes it special uh, compared to many other engineering fields. And so for me, it's a, it was a very natural transition to, as I said, work on more maybe impactful, societally important problems while still doing interesting uh, quantitative modeling. Well, um, I mean, this is very nice and we are uh, all very inspired by the contribution of Professor Akrivos to our profession and, um, uh, and being the founder of that award. Um, so maybe uh, you can also uh, tell our younger colleagues a little bit of um, your experience and, and maybe um, your advice of uh, what would be um, the, future, uh, the future directions and, and how one can uh, be a nominee for this award. Sure. So uh, I'm not sure I know exactly how to become a nominee, but I certainly would advise all younger colleagues uh, to basically follow your interests. So, you know, I started my career in physics because I was really interested in physics. And then my interests evolved and I got interested in chemical engineering as, as an area where there was a lot of interest in physics and where the intersection of those fields was exciting. It was not easy to make that change and get noticed and, you know, kind of get involved. But I stuck with it and did it because it just it was it was my passion. And so my main advice to, to younger colleagues is just work on the problems that you think are interesting even before other people realize how interesting those problems uh, actually are. And also try to address grand challenges. So that's another reason that you know I feel excited to be an, engi uh, an engineer is to really work on societally important problems. And I think the awarding of this award to myself and also other colleagues, uh, you know, including Professor Belev, uh, I think shows that when you do fundamental work that's rooted in uh, sort of new physics uh, and going after exciting applications, that that kind of work will be recognized by awards uh, in the AICHE community. Well, thank you, Martin, and congratulations.